Hi guys, welcome to World Cup in a Car, day 17. Last night, border control at Belarus sent me on the way, way round the woods through Lithuania and Latvia. I'm in Russia, but I'm still outside Moscow. I should be in Kazan by now. However, I got a, well, I'm a dubious treat for you. Let's just call this a shower with a difference. That's right, this is what World Cup in a car has reduced me to. I've had to take a shower standing by a motorway using the overhang from an old Soviet bus stop which is dripping down to actually have a shower. There's method in the madness. Firstly, I need a shower. Secondly, it's a real breath of fresh cold air which is very rare so far. And it's woken me up. Nah, you're probably fed up of seeing me take my clothes off. I promise I'll try not to do it again. Onwards to Kazan. Hello guys. Take a wild guess where I am. In a lovely long traffic jam. Now, the little pleasures in life that amuse you, just on my right up here, is a little car and a bus. And they are having an argument over who should go in the lane first. And it, I gotta be honest, it is getting quite funny because the bus driver keeps swerving to cut him off. Goes left, goes left, goes right, goes right. I'm still not even in Nizhny Novgorod and the match I was supposed to be there to cover has already finished. You might be wondering what exactly I'm doing still heading there. Well, I'm on my way to pick up Martino of Copper 90. He's in Kazan. Kazan is another 400 kilometers past Nizhny Novgorod. I, I hope he's a nice bloke. I hope he's interesting because if he isn't, this is going to be one hell of a wasted journey. But something tells me he is. He's a good lad. Well, hello guys. Welcome to World Cup in a Car Day 18. And you know what? I've absolutely loved my time in Kazan. And after all of 37 minutes, I'm back on the road again to Nizhny Novgorod. That is... World Cup in a car logic. It's almost as if Russia didn't want me to get to Kazan. There was the weather, there was the traffic in Moscow, traffic in Vladimir, traffic in Nizhny Novgorod. I wasn't able to get any sleep. And then, just outside Kazan, police stopped me and they tried to shake me down for 5,000 rubles. It doesn't sound like much, you know, it's about, I don't know, say 70 quid or something, but uh, that's about 70 pounds more than I actually have on me. Yeah, as it turns out, there are some rules that World Cup in a car does have to listen to. The point is, I played the dumb foreigner card. They soon say, say, do you understand? You just say, no, I don't understand. They get bored, they get fed up with you. They, I think, <laughs> fingers crossed, I think I've escaped a 5,000 ruble fine. Right, time to leave. Sorry, Kazan, but I've got to go.